<sighs> Just gonna flip on the news. I'm tired. I need some coffee. These are the images what? that have stirred many emotions this week. Homes and livelihoods lost. Farms are flooded. It's tough to see them people in that kind of shape. They're the images that what stirred Ely farmer James Garnet into action. Holy crap. My gosh. Buddy. What are you good? Buddy. What the heck? What happened? My gosh, dude. Birds, you guys good? Holy crap. Oh. Shoot. The news was saying the Missouri River flooded. My gosh. And you guys know we're on the northeast part of Nebraska. My gosh, dude. It must have been... They are saying something about the snow melting and then it rained last night. My gosh, dude. Holy crap. Look at that. Let me pull out the binoculars. My trailer. It, it was right... It was right, like, on the other side of this Quonset. And it got pushed all the way to that fence. Holy crap. The snow's melting, but my gosh, we didn't have that much snow. Buddy, come here. Did you leave the sink on last night, man? Oh, yeah? Just say it was Buck. Say it was Buck. I see how it is, buddy. Nah, you're a good boy. Of course it wasn't you, buddy. Go back and play in the pool. Well, got an oversized pool now. I am going to make some coffee, of course. No matter what, even if we got hit by a tornado. Coffee, of course. And then I'm, I'm going to go assess the flood damage. My, oh, shoot. Dude, the equipment, everything's going to be on there. Literally, everything's going to be on there. Uh, it's The equipment's going to be flooded. Everything's going to be underwater. Hold on. Let me put the news on again. Oh, so plan of, of right now, we have, I, I got to get going. I got to get going for some reason. There is more rain coming in tonight. The Missouri River is supposed to flood higher. And that means, or that means uh, not because of rain, but there's more water coming down. That's just going to flood it more and more. They expect the, the level, water levels to rise. That means I got to get my equipment out, out of here, like ASAP right now. Okay. Good news, F-350, anything on wheels is not really going to be affected by this. As you can see, it's probably like three inches, which three inches does a lot of damage, but but it's not it's not too detrimental yet. So uh, they said it's going to come up another three inches or so at least. That's not good. That means our equipment's going to be affected. So the plan is, my gosh, let me go in the shed. The plan is probably to move all this equipment out to higher ground somewhere. I got I to gotta call buddy, see what's happening. Holy crap, the shed is gone. 8RT, there's chains just floating in here. My gosh, dude. 8RT, 8345 RT, it's fine, but it, you just can't have water like this. Especially if it comes up and starts getting the exhaust or engines. Obviously, the exhaust is pretty high up, but still, uh, we can't risk it. So I'm going to get the most equ expensive equipment out of here. Got the new Kubota, the 4020 still. <sighs> Holy crap, dude. My computer is going to be fried. It was plugged into the charger. Oh, shoot. Okay, I'm going to... Shoot, I'm going to rush over to Jake's or Austin's. I'm going to see what this actually did. I'm bringing my F3, other F350 with me. Uh, just because I'm trying to get everything out of here, pretty much. Holy crap, man. My gosh, this isn't good. Hopefully everybody else is okay around here. Look at this. Would you just look at it? Holy crap, dude. I think, I think the best move is to just drive all the equipment. Drive the equipment as far as possible, as far away as possible. Just get it out here. Um, what the heck? It's not that wet. The ditches are kind of flooded through here. It's not that wet over here. What's the, Stevio's Hill. That's where we're going to go. That's where we're going to go. Okay. Stevio, it's pretty high up here. This is probably another foot up here. I think this is the safest spot, and this is where I can move the most equipment possible for now. And you know what? Flood comes up, I can just kind of pull it up by his house a little higher. Hopefully, he doesn't mind. He's a good farmer of mine. I don't know what else to do. I'm gonna talk. I gotta talk to Stevio quick. Stevio, Stevio. Yeah. Get up. Get up. There's a flood coming. There's a flood coming. It's already flooded my farm, and it's gonna come come up about three or four more inches. Yeah, get your equipment to the highest ground possible. Yeah, yep. Okay, hurry up, and can I put some of my equipment on your kind of high spot around your farm? Because I think I don't think the water level is gonna get that high, and I don't have uh, any high spots. Okay, 
Thanks, man. Holy crap, dude. His cattle. His cattle got to come up higher. He's got to take him to the high ground here. But, uh, okay, I'm going to leave the F-350 here. Probably give Austin or somebody a call to come get me, pick me up. But I, I couldn't show the part in there because Stevie was in his underwear. He, he was just getting up this morning. So, I, just out of all respect, I can't, I can't show that, of course. Hello? Austin. Austin. Uh, you get hit with the flood? You hear what happened, yeah, of course? Yeah, bad, dude. I'm pulling equipment out of... Uh out of my sheds right now trying to get it up onto high ground where are you going for high ground i've got a nice spot on my event on my uh farm that i bought how like much do you have extra plant. do you have extra space there oh i should okay i'm uh i'm sitting at stevios he's got some high ground by his house that's where i'm moving my equipment right now he said i could but i may run out of space uh i've got are, tons of space here dude okay do you have all your equipment moved uh yeah jake's just grabbing the last piece okay oh, shoot i'm gonna be moving equipment all day is there any way you can Come help me if 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 yeah, only we'll if you're done. I don't want over. to use your time. We'll be on our way over. I've got. I didn't hit my main farm. Just hit my second farm. Okay, so. swing by. Uh, swing by Stevie's house. I'm sitting at his place. I need you to give me a ride back. Okay, I will be right there. Ten four. There's my ride. Uh, I guess Stevie's didn't get hit very hard. Yeah, Stevie's didn't get hard at all. My place is just. Uh, she's flooded. Uh, can you give me a ride over to my place? Yeah, hop in. You guys hit some mud. My gosh. Jake, yeah, how you doing? The roads. <laughs> Your farm get hit, Jake? Bad. Jeez. Yeah. So, uh, the levees on the river north north of town here. Yep. It they burst. Yep. And all the all the winter snow melt and everything from the Dakotas down just. Yeah, and they. Uh, I was just watching the news again, and they said that it was going to come up. It was going to rise more, three or four inches. So mine's fine right now, uh, what? but uh, yeah, but I'm rushing to get my crap over here because. It's going to soon get in the engine or something. You guys move your stuff over here? Austin? Uh, I move my stuff to high ground at okay. my place. I have a company so. literally coming out to pick up all my equipment because they bought it. So if they get it out today, oh, they're going to be shoot. fine. But it's their problem. You lucky son of a gun. Dude, I, I heard most of it was from rain this morning, and then Jake told me because I didn't know how bad it was. Yeah. It's bad. Well, let's go and let's get your stuff moved out of the danger zone. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, I'm gonna jump in uh, Austin's. Uh, is this brief? <laughs> it's it's a yeah. flipping Bronco, dude. Okay. okay, hop in. Yeah, sounds like a plan. Okay, yep. This we'll stick to so that. So here. just uh, oh, shoot. You're supposed to push around to the, pull around to the front so we can get this winch hooked up to the, this. Well, we'll you, you were sitting on a passenger seat, dude. You can at least say so. No, no, no. That was kind of the plan. I just didn't tell it specifically. I thought the plan was to winch this out, but I didn't say exactly how we were gonna do it. But Times um, a, times a ticking, times a wet, dude. She's gonna get wetter. Think I, you think I can winch it out? Yeah, I think if we just wrap the winch around the uh, kind of the the hitch area here, you can just yank yeah. that thing. Jake, you think it'll work? I guess. I yeah, you might ruin that landing gear, but it should work. Yeah, I think it'll work good too. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to jump in her and then just uh, I'll I'll drag this winch out. Yeah, sure. Okay. Man, it'd be nice to have one of those nowadays, wouldn't it, Jay? Have you seen the Priuses driving around in this flood, though? I have, dude. Those Priuses, Crazy. they keep running, man. I don't know what it is. <laughs> oh, wait. Honest question. Would a flood really be a big problem for an electric car? Because they don't have uh, a muffler or anything. I, I think if that thing like got to the battery. Be. But, uh, yeah, yeah, they are electric. She's hooked, Austin. Start winching her. All right. Yep. Run her. Holy crap. Keep going. Uh, there we go, Austin. Should be good. That winch worked good. I don't know. The water's pushing it. Okay, pull around here. Do you have a hitch on that thing? Yeah, I do. What size ball you got on there? Yeah. A big one. Keep going. Oh, pull forward. Pull forward. Pull forward. Nope. Pull forward a lot. You got to kind of swing around. You're like really off, dude. Oh, well, I, you're, you're trying to guide me in Okay, here. I'll stand on top of it. Okay. Okay. Keep coming. To your right a bit. To your right. 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 There we go. Okay. Stop, stop, stop. Left a little bit. Left. Okay, straight back, straight back, straight back, straight back. Oh, good, 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 good. Holy, she jumped me. Okay. Uh, he's hooked. Oh. Let that Bronco run, baby. Run for the hills. Austin, can you take that up? Oh, I can't hear me. Is there any way you can take that over to Stevios? Just right over there? Yeah, I can take it over to Stevios. I like that logo on the back of your seat there. Repping a pretty cool YouTuber. Well, what are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? There's a squad logo assist in the back of your seat, Who man. Who the heck put that there? You watch there? him too? I didn't know you watch him. Dang. Oh no, he sucks. Came with them. I didn't even know. Okay. What the heck. okay. It, it was some. It was some little kid that owned it. it owned it before. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Rip on out of here. A bit weird. I, I'm guessing he watched the guy. Oh.
<laughs> He's just pulling the giant squad logo back there. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, he must be a fanboy. <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> okay. So, uh, what else do you need? Yeah, I need pretty much everything. If you want to, I'm trying to think. So I got the 8RT hooked up to the planner. Do you? You've driven. You've driven the 8RT, I think. If you want to jump yeah. in that, and then just follow me over, I'll probably be in the 8130 with a grain cart, and we'll get that over to CVS. All right. Sounds like a plan. Perfect. Hey, Grant, you bring your fishing pole? I did not. Uh, that's too bad. Could probably catch some good bass out here. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I shoot the eight RT is blocked by the combine. Do you want to just jump in the combine then? Yeah, yeah, I can take this. Okay. Uh, is there? Well, your headers are probably on a car now. Yeah, my header. I'll just pull with a. I'll, I'll probably pull with the truck, the pickup truck. That'll work. All good. right. All right. Yeah, I'll the hull. Okay. Get this thing uh, warmed up and then take it over there, Stevie. Us. Perfect. Jake's in the combine right now. I'm gonna fire up the eight RT. Start this up. Looks like Jake's pulling out, and then I gotta get. To, oh, shoot, there's so much. I gotta get the semi. I gotta get the cultivator. I gotta get the uh, ah, the 8130 here. We can't lose this. Um, I'm gonna get the 8130 here. Fire up the 8130. Okay, we're going out of here. I gotta open this gate, and then we'll be good. Austin, you're back already? Huh? Can you can you take the 80? Can you take the 8RT actually? I'm gonna open this this door for you, and you can just pull out and then take it to CVS. Just follow Jake. We're just trying to get this okay. as fast as possible. Okay. All right. Yeah, yours is not half as bad as mine. Mine is almost up to the engine. Really? Yep. My gosh, dude, there's just people out driving. I'm like, what the heck? How can you be out driving? And there's no cars. They're trying to pass me. The car is trying to pass me. My gosh. It's a flood. Calm down, lady. And splash. Goes in the pool. Is that OJ? Holy crap, Austin. My gosh. Is he going to make it through there? Oh, shoot, dude. Oh, my gosh. Does he know how to drive that thing? Okay, I'm pulling through CVS yard. Just gonna put the tractor up here. I don't know what those guys are doing yet. Just gonna get this on some high ground. Luckily, yes, it's like foot level high ground here. Which it'll be, it should be good here. Oh, you know, just pulling a combine across Stevio's front yard here. Beautiful, looks beautiful. Yeah, I saw this bit of a hill here and I was like, well, that combine's expensive. It better go at a little extra high. <laughs> Does anybody know Stevio's dog's name? Oh, yeah. This is a I do dog not. blind? He's just running around all over the place. Kind of like my ghost dog, Rusty. What the heck is wrong with that guy? <laughs> weird huh. dog. Let's go weird meet dog. him. He's got a weird owner, too. Yeah. You know, a dog, I, people tend to take on the personality of their pets. People take on the personality of their pets. He looks like yeah. Buddy. Hey, Buddy. Go fetch. Cute dog. Yeah. Very cute dog. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, hey, see, right. he just walked through oh, right through a fence. Yeah, talk to him, Austin. Dude, I own a dog. Talk to him, Easton. Oh, oh he doesn't want to talk to hey, you. Oh. Call me Easton. See, yeah. that dog doesn't like you now. Likes me okay. more than you. Okay, we gotta go. I gotta get some more equipment out of there, guys. If that's cool. It's not a popularity yep. contest, Jake. Let's do it. So I don't know. I think we're gonna take the 8RT back because I gotta bring another a couple other implements back with the tractor. That'll work good. Everybody can jump in here. Okay. We should be able to fit I call in buddy here. Seat. Oh, yeah. you sucker! You got the rail, Austin. Dang close, it. Close your mouth. <laughs> Why? Be careful not to catch any flies out there. I'm going to try. Keep it closed, this buddy. It's not very comfortable. You good up there, Austin? No, you're scaring me. Uh, How's the air conditioning? It sucks, Jake. You suck. <laughs> good thing John Deere, uh, they make these cabs so well nowadays. I mean, just for so people fun. like that, in case you got a guy standing on the ladder, you don't have to hear him talk anymore. Suck, Grant. If don't, you hear me, I know you can. Don't make hey, me Austin, slam on those brakes, you... man. Oh, you should go for a little Don't you dare slam dip. on them brakes. Don't you Austin, dare. Austin, why don't you dip them toes in that water? No, I'm good. Hey, hey, hey. Whoa, whoa. Hey, hey. Stop it. Stop it. Don't Get do a little that. splash from the oncoming car. Ah, you suck. You suck. I'm soaking wet now. Okay. I'll drop somebody off in uh, Austin. Do you want to get into the Kenworth? Here, I'll pull you up there and you don't have to jump off. You don't have to touch the water. I'm already soaked, dummy. There you go. Jake, I'll get you close to... Uh, shoot, I don't really care about the 420. I do, but I don't. Uh, okay, Jake, you're going to take the 420. All right. Let me get you close to it. Man, it even flooded in your shop. Yeah, everything is gone, dude. Okay, there this you go. You should bad. be able to jump on there from now, from here. All right. 
Hey Jake, so I got a, I got, uh, with the 4020, there's a cultivator just on the other side of the shed here, in the other, uh, cold storage space. Could you hook up to it and pull it over there? To, to, yeah. CBS? Yeah, I'll hook up to it. Okay, perfect. So Jake's getting the 4020, I'm gonna hook up to, uh, this ripper probably, get the ripper out of here. And then we're pretty much done, besides there's some stuff in that cold storage shed, I'm gonna get most of it, as much as I can out of there. Here, my semi's in the way, I can move my semi quick, I'll fire up. Okay, for now, I'm just gonna have to put the semi out here. There's nothing I can do. I definitely want to get this to Stevio's, but for now, should actually shoot. Actually, shoot. Yeah. I didn't even. I, I totally forgot about the trailer. Here, we'll connect to the trailer. Alright. Keep coming. Keep coming. And. To your last little tad bit. There we go. Perfect. Alright, put the pin in it. My drugs right, are hooked up. You. Okay. Just go ahead and pull it out. You want to watch that back end while I pull out? Yep, yep, yep. All right. Holy crap. There you go. Perfect. I'll, I'll see you over on, at Stevios. See ya. Okay, I'm taking the 8RT over. Jake's in the 420. I'm going to follow Jake over. Uh, and then we're going to go. And then I'm pretty sure this will be our last trip over there. After, after we're done with this one, we'll have one more and that'll be the last trip. Holy crap, dude! I can't, I can't even imagine this place four, four or three more inches higher. That's just gonna be a mess. That's perfect, perfect. Nice job, Austin. What in the heck is this? The pulling the big cultivator with the forty twenty? Ah, she's nothing <laughs> for the forty twenty. Uh, oh man! I'm gonna unhook the ripper, and then we got one more ride, and then we got. I'm gonna hook the the ripper, and then we got one more ride back. Okay, everybody's doing a great job. Did, did buddy seat, buddy seat, buddy seat. I called it. I called it. You'll enjoy it. Okay, last up, but not least, the Mac. If one of you guys want to jump in her. I got Jake it. is I'm a pro at driving the Mac. Okay. Here, oh, okay. Okay, we're ready to go. We got the last load out. Austin's leading the way. Jake's behind me with the semi. And we're ready to go. Everything is pretty much cleared out. There's some miscellaneous stuff. Holy crap. Oh, Austin got smoked by that little car. Oh, he was messing with me about not getting stuck, dude. Stuff is getting pretty deep through here. I feel like it's already rising. I feel like ever since we started moving the equipment, it already came up an inch, I'd say. Like, at least. At least an inch, I'd say. At least. It's up, yeah, up I got the, my okay. ears on. Okay. Are you stuck back there? Oh, hold on. I just had my CB off here. What? What's going on? He's, uh, I think Jake's stuck back there. Oh, crap. Seriously? Yeah, yeah you got the... Oh, shoot, you got a winch on there. Perfect. I'll follow you over there. Oh. I, I guess. I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull him out, though. Uh, shoot, yeah. I got weights on the front of this 8RT. I can kind of push from the back, dude. If you if if you're up it with your winch and then I push from the back, we should be able to push him through. Where's he stuck All at? Right. Crap, he is stuck. Uh, Just the, buried. The the current pushed me uh, as I made the turn. My gosh, dude. Okay, we're piling up here. Uh, shoot. Okay, it's right here. Okay, what are you guys thinking? Hey, Jake. Man, so, it's not good. Really should. Try pulling it back, probably. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking that'll be good. We gotta get this traffic out of here, though. I'm just gonna. I'm probably gonna wave the traffic on off. They're out of there, boys. I got it. Uh, so you, you got traffic waved out of here. Yep. Traffic's gone. Uh, are you guys thinking pull from? Sorry, pull from behind, then. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's because this is. You're gonna tear this up. You go try going forward. Yep. Austin, Austin, can you just pull the uh, Bronco on over uh, from behind? Uh, yeah. Okay. No, Austin, you can just pull from right here, I'd say. Or actually, yeah, no, that'll look pretty cool, actually. Never mind, sorry about that. Looks, maybe that'll work. Okay, Austin, go ahead and... Let me, let me get inside and, okay. and steer this thing real quick. Heck okay, yeah, brother. Okay, third honk. Jake, you... Okay, keep going. Pull, Austin. Oh, there's no way Come on, dude. Come on. Pull. Pull. I'm trying to give it gas. We're spinning. There you go, there you go, oh, there you oh, go. Oh. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Yeah, baby. Nice. There we go. Oh, oh boy. Crap. Alright, we're on pavement. Perfect. Okay, perfect. Nice job. You guys want to pull on yeah. out of here? We'll head to CBOs, get out of this heck hole. Yeah, uh, Jake, don't go in the ditch again. Uh, Grant, uh, we'll meet at the Waffle House, all of us, I guess. 10 4. Let's go, Stevie, and meet right. there. All right. Or at the Waffle House, either one. Okay, we made it. 
perfect. Then we pull the ADRT up. Jake's falling with the semi. Austin's falling with his Bronco. We should be good. We kind of trashed out CBO's yard, but man, this is going to be lifesaver. This is going to be lifesaver for us. This really is. The farm could have went under. I have insurance on all this, but you just you just don't want to do it. You know, if you just leave it sit there and you're just like, F it. We got insurance. You know, that's, that's getting kind of borderline fraud. It is. It is. It really is. It's not ethical. So uh, just do the best we can. Uh, probably trying not to cost insurance money, but it's nice to have it. So hopefully you guys did enjoy it. If you did, smash that like button. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the realistic roleplay. And I'll see you later. Thanks for watching, guys.